coming to you this week from the administrative nerve center of northern Nigeria. Kaduna has been home to many successful manufacturing businesses, including textile, food processing, breweries, and of course, general merchandise. And all of these date way back. In the course of the program, I'll be speaking with the MD CEO of Twinkle Star Simplicity Limited, a leading industrial printing firm in the heart of the city, a business supported by the Bank of Industry. He talks to us about how his business is riding on the tide of high demand and his dream to establish a polyvinyl chloride extrusion factory in order to be able to reduce the biting effect of a dwindling naira on an industry that imports 80% of its raw material. If we have that kind of factory here, first of all, $8 billion will not go out from Nigeria anymore. $8 billion will be sustained in Nigeria. And then we head to Owodeyewa in Ogu State, Southwest Nigeria, where local cassava farmers are also benefiting from the funds provided by the Bank of Industry, thereby empowering the women and creating jobs in the community. The agricultural sector, due to limited processing and preservation capacity, this results in high food prices and food importation, which has attendant effects on the nation's foreign reserves. To enable Nigerians optimize the benefits from the country's vast agricultural products such as cassava, oil palm, rice, tomatoes, and others, the Bank of Industry has launched a 5 billion naira cottage agro-processing fund, the CAP Fund. Customers can access the fund to establish plants to process our various agro-produce into food products or intermediate raw materials for industries at a single-digit interest rate of 9% per annum. For more information on the CAP Fund, please visit www.boinigeria.com slash CAP Fund. Bank of Industry developing Nigeria's agro-processing industry through the CAP Fund. Twinkle Star Simplicity Limited is an indigenous company in Kaduna, North Central Nigeria. It operates as a printing servicing firm with diverse competence in large format printing, such as flex, branding, heat transfer to mug, shirt, cap, customized and general paper printing. Twinkle Star started out in 2004 as a computer assembly company and later veered into printing in 2012, taking advantage of the supply gap for quality large format printing in the north. When we came into this business, it was just only uh, two companies that were into this business. And we had it to be an opportunity for us, for us to make a wider, uh, you know, um, uh, Impute. Uh, first of all, because it's a new technology, we we came to Lagos, had some training, for instance, in a company for almost three months before we venture buying the machines. And as a matter of fact, we found out that in the north, we were not having a lot of people that was inside the into this business, and uh, because we are in te technical uh, um, digital technical incline we needed to venture into it. Instead of people going from the north to Lagos to do the digital print, you know, we could have them here. The market was okay. People really needed prints because we were already going from the analog to the digital. So as a matter of fact, they were markets but because of the accessibility of the machines and the consumables people were unable to venture into it because it takes a lot of technicality. So actually there was market on it. And to succeed in the new printing industry, print professionals now require new knowledge, skills, and funding. We approached the Bank of Industry and they, they told us to bring our proposal, and uh, which we did. Before the Bureau came, we were eventually doing nothing. We were eventually just doing the scrap, you know, take job here and there, send to Lagos, take job here, send to Lagos to do. So but when the Bureau came and they gave us the, uh, the, the money, of course we, we need to buy the machine in our own factory. The Bank of Industry has really, really helped us. Before I approached the Bank of Industry, I was working for another company. 
and uh, now after their facility was released, uh, I think the, 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 compared to what I get now, even another company cannot even pay me. <laughs> they can't even pay me. And I will have uh, uh, graduates. My production manager is a, is a graduate. The, my admin manager is a graduate. You know, we have about 10, 12 workers, you know. And the Bank of Industry has really, really changed our life, changed our company, make us to smile, you know, made us to have value in the business world. And uh, to crown it all, all it makes us to smile for the bank every day. Nowadays, PVC Flex is playing an important role in signage and banner advertising industry. And in view of the soaring profitability of the business, the MD of Twinkle Star believes the backward integration of the industry is crucial now than ever. It is important to note that the basic raw materials needed for PVC production are abundant in Nigeria, which is salt and oil. When it comes to uh, digital printing of flex, especially eco solvent and solvent printing, there's no one thing that we get in Nigeria. No one thing that we get in Nigeria. We are solely dependable on especially America, Germany, and China, which is a kind of a setback to us in the business world. We thought this kind of factory would be uh, in South Africa. But when we go to South Africa, we found out that the biggest importer of this PVC flex that we are using, they, they bring more, more than even us. If this factory is in Nigeria, it will be a very good plus. A plus, not even to Nigeria alone, but to Africa. Here is basically what large format digital printing entails. This is where our work starts. This is the computer room. What you are seeing them doing now is editing our customer's job. The customer's job will be edited here before sending it to the production room. They use a format like CorelDRAW to bring this work here, while they use a TIF format to send it to the machine for printing. This small thing you are seeing here is going to be enlarged, to be printed in a very big form, like 10 by 20, 6 by 4 feet, 10 by 40, 30 by 50, depending on the customer size of the, of the work. So let's just go to the production room and see what we'll do there. Next is the production room, where the large format printing process takes place. These materials are what we use in our printing. This is called window graphics. Window graphics is normally used to brand vehicles. Window graphics are is normally used in a company that you see a company that is being that their windows or their glasses are being branded but with spots on it. Basically, we use it for branded of vehicles and offices. These materials are all made from the same PVC extension equipment, and they are not manufactured in Nigeria. They are not manufactured in Africa. So let's go back to the production room and see how our machine could print on these materials I've just displayed to you now. This is where the small graphics you see in the computer are being blown into the large format. This is a six feet printing machine that prints anything that has to do with six feet breadth with infinity length. And this is the other printer that prints 10 feet breadth and infinity length. They are all imported from China. This is our ink branded in, in our name. And what we are seeing them doing now is this is the ripping computer. What he's trying to do now is to rip this job into the memory of this printer so that the printer could assess what has been brought from the computer room to be in a finished uh, printing uh, process. At the back, that is where we put the ink that we are using. The ink is called echo solvent ink. It doesn't have any effect in human um, assistance. So, because that is the reason why we are using it. Like this one that you are seeing now, it could print up to 10 feet by 20 feet. Using that what you, you see on the street that for the B-boards, for the, um, uh, uh, the B-board, the 
uh, signboard, the political billboards that you are seeing all the streets. This is the machine that does that. Why this one is used to print the indoor printing you know, that you see in every of these companies. The same thing that the other computer do, it was it what this one does too. They are all doing the same thing. But you know that that com 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 computer is feeding this printer is data, while this computer is feeding this uh, printer the data that he will receive in printing all this job. And finally to the cutting section, where the printed materials are trimmed into specified sizes. Mr. Asemota is very optimistic about the future of the business and the printing industry in Nigeria as a whole. After the printing, we need to cut. But before we do the cutting, let me introduce you to the future of this printing industry. As I told you, 80% of what we use in printing in Nigeria and Africa as a whole are imported from Germany, from America, and from the Asia. And as a matter of fact, we can cut those things by setting up a PVC extortion factory that will produce this material so that over 8 million dollars that leaves the shore of this country will remain within. And as a matter of fact, so that other African countries who you know they are into big printing and do not have this thing, also rely on the importation, we face Nigeria from buying, in buying these things. So like what I want to say, this is the PVC extortion equipment, this is the auto missing system, this is where all the chemicals are being mixed. And I have to tell you, these chemicals are found here in Nigeria. If we set up this factory in Nigeria, we hope to employ over 2,500 graduates and over 5,000 multiplying effect business that will be attached to this factory. And above all, every, all other African countries will be looking onto Nigeria to buy this thing because of the timing, because of the price, and because of the uh, importation from the Europe or the Asia. So Nigeria will become a hub in exporting this material.